Messenger Abandoned Cart produces 4x to 10x more revenue than email. If you love ManyChat, how do you bring the power of Abandoned Cart via Messenger to ManyChat? You really have three options. One, you use a standalone platform. Unfortunately, there are some downsides to that. Whatever information you have in the platform you're using for Abandoned Cart is siloed inside of there. It never makes it over to ManyChat. The subscriber can transfer over into both, but you don't know what they've done here on platform A and then on ManyChat platform B. They never talk to each other and it's a huge downside. Second option, you can cobble something together. So this would mean having an opt-in like this, for example, and then once somebody opts in, you'd say, okay, great. What's your email? So if we do this, what's your email? Now, that actually is an old email address of mine that uh, I've used, and it's full of junk. Most people, maybe not most, I forget the stat, it's alarmingly high, actually enter in a junk email. So, for example, that that might be a correct email of mine but i don't really want to get more marketing messages so i'd use that to sign up then once the person signs up and you're hoping it's their correct email you would trigger a zap and send that over to your email service provider like a an active campaign or a clavio especially if you're on shopify back inside your store they've opted in and they've clicked add to cart. They still have to go to the checkout page and type in an email. And at this point, you're hoping that the email they've used for your marketing materials matches up with the email they use here. Otherwise, your email service provider won't know that this person is the same person that we need to send abandoned cart emails to. So you're gonna miss out on a lot of people from uh, email mismatch. And two, so we're, we're at a very much, uh, sh not shortened, um, narrower part of the funnel, right? Remember, we just had to click add to cart. We had to then click to check out. And on top of all that, uh, we have to enter in an email address. So we're about three steps down into the funnel. Your next option is to use an app like ours that's called Swoonworthy E-Commerce. We bring the power of Shopify and pretty soon some other platforms as well to ManyChat. So what does this look like? Well, if you're on a product page or really any page, we can have somebody opt in. We're going to concentrate on this sort of opt in because it's what we talked about before. So we have a modal, they click send this to me. And at some point, they keep shopping and they add something to cart. Right at this point, if they don't complete their shopping journey and check out, we can start sending them abandoned cart messages. Our first one would trigger typically within 30 minutes of them ending their shopping experience, meaning they don't put anything else in their cart, and they quit browsing the site. So you'll see here, we gave them a first message when they opted in. And should they not check out, we'll start sending messages similar to this with a fun little bit of text that's customizable and pulling in the cart contents. If they do end up checking out, we stop sending messages. And we can then follow up with post-purchase and transactional messaging. So for example, as soon as somebody checks out, they're in our funnel, they've purchased a product, we're going to send them a receipt, confirm the shipping address, and send them a total. The very, very cool part about this is that inside of ManyChat, bear with me while I get there, you are going to be able to segment people based on the, and give me one sec here, <laughs> here we go, too many things. 
Now, you're going to be able to segment people based on their total order value because we're pulling that in. That means, for example, if your average order value is 50 bucks, you can now later send people that have spent 25 to 50 bucks a coupon that says, hey, free shipping over 75. And that happens all within Messenger. We can notify uh, people of when their order ships and give them their tracking information. And finally, ask them how their experience was. So if it's a crappy experience, then we can do some proactive customer service right away. If it's a great experience, then we can even ask for reviews or user-generated content. And we can use that in our marketing. We can ask them, hey, can we use this? And we can push that out via Zapier to Yotpo or similar. Okay. And finally, we thank them with another coupon if we want. So highly powerful stuff that not only increases ROI because of the abandoned cart, but actually improves the customer experience. All of these things, some of, our, some of them are possible on other platforms. Some are not. Some are, are capable to, of being cobbled together via Zapier. Most of the backend features really are not. Um, and you're missing out on, on all the power if you don't try to bring this to ManyChat. So the summary of this is one, if you want something that works very easily out of the box and you don't need to go very deep in the, all the customization and power that ManyChat offers, you might be able to get away with a separate platform. Because you're here, I will, I'm thinking that you want to stick with ManyChat. So you probably want something more powerful and reliable than a Zap. That's where um, an app like ours would come into play.